Go on a date with me. I pay you lol. I'm in a relationship. Uh, maybe hire a worker. Okay, but like creepy text aside, that chicken looks pretty good. Maybe I'm just hungry. Maybe it's Maybelline. I don't know. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash creepy PMs because, hey, them videos sometimes do get some interesting stuffs on it. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, I don't know, say Minecraft since apparently that helps in the algorithms, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications, okie dokie, let go. I love your alternative style, I can't help but wonder if your other hair elsewhere is also dyed green to matt. Really, you do, you're leading with the carpet and drape thing? No, clearly, my eyebrows aren't green. <laughs> a total what I was referring to, right. I don't get it. Why would you ask about other hair? What does that have to do with my pictures? I was just trying to be funny with some silly, flirty banter, but obviously you didn't like it. How is this funny? <laughs> Making a joke about, uh, your that hair if you dyed it? It was just nonsense. That's just creepy. I don't know why this needs to be said, but I don't know why a lot of people don't understand that maybe you're opener or just at any point in time you probably shouldn't try making jokes or comments about somebody's part of a body that you can't see. Like you really could have started the conversation with hey I like your hair color it would have gone so much better than that but nope you had to take the weird route didn't you. Hey your nails are really pretty. Oh thank you they make me happy lol. I've noticed your nails are always spot on. <laughs> Thanks, lol. I splurge on nails and squish. <laughs> well, darn. I'm trying to splurge on you with those cute nails. Why do I get the feeling I'm about to hate the word splurge? What does that mean, lol? Breed you. Okay, yep, there it is. Wow, you're super cute. I bet you have very cute feet too. Oh boy. Why would you say this? Because that's what I think. So I thought you might like to know. In case you're shy about your feet. Nah, that's weird as F and it never works for you. What do you mean it didn't work? Don't message random A women about your foot thing. Simple. But you're the only one complaining. Why do you assume you speak for all women? Freaking woman splaining. Okay, then how about you show us the other history of your chats to see how well your track record is. I'm going to guess it's about 85 to 99%. No, you can't just walk into a room, talk up to a woman and say, hey, ma'am, I like your feet in this kind of way and then automatically think you're going to get the good ending to the story. Same thing goes with the babblers and the booters. You don't walk in and say, hey, nice this and then think that that's going to work out. More Morning, beautiful. I hope you're okay. I'm blank and I'm a very submissive, obedient guy looking to be owned by a dominant woman, X. Yeah, not interested. A shame, I love you to make me wear your knickers and clean up. You're gross. This is not appropriate to say to strangers. Having a thing is fine. Forcing it on people who have clearly stated they are not interested is not. It's predatory behavior and frankly, I find it disgusting. Be better. Hence, like, the same thing as the last person. Jesus. Honestly, for me, I, I don't care if you got one of them fangs or something. Like, everybody's got something that they like in that sense, but that don't mean that it's perfectly okay to just tell people about it, thinking that they're also interested without even asking anything of the sort. Also, wasn't this the opener? I really was the opener. Jesus frick. When you get pregnant, can you feed me? Honestly, I swear there are some posts that just make me want to go back to bed and try the whole day over tomorrow. Uh, this is one of those, but I can't because I got work in a couple hours. Hey, Blank, I got a favor to ask of you. I'm doing an assignment for a health insurance course I'm taking, and it's about podiatrists and and the study of fee- ah, frick. I need to get some images from people of their feet in order to compare similar aspects. I have gotten some images from male friends, but I don't have many female friends to ask. If you're willing to help out, I just need one image of the top of your feet and uh, one of your soles. If unsure how to take the photos, a mirror or camera timer is best choices. If you do help, I need the images 
as soon as possible, and I will even give you a foot fact you probably didn't know as a reward, <laughs> lol. Anyways, I just figured I would ask if you don't wanna, no worries. I know I just recently met you, and uh, this is super odd to ask, but I'm out of options, and we've been suggested not to use online images. And if you don't wanna, then I will, cause I got no other options, but uh, yeah. Sorry for the weird ask, and uh, thanks in advance if you uh, do help. Out. Why Why can't you use online images? Why is not Google Images a viable source? Please do explain. We uh, Explain to the class, please. Why is all this always coming from the foot dudes? They're like two in a row already. You never see this stuff come from the booty dudes. Nobody cares, him saggy and flabby lazy lady. Join a gym. Maybe spend less time on here and more time exercising. At least my body looks good, Miss Muffin Top. And imagine still calling yourself emo. Oh, please do explain. Let's let's see what your body looks like then. Let's uh, let's get a good old uh, critique, professional opinion in on it. Because I'm going to take a wild guess and say that your type of body that you're trying to have and say that you're fine while somebody else is not is the same type of body that makes me want to learn to vibrate my eyes to be able to blur my sight when I'm at the gym locker room. Ain't do this bed to the gym? You know exactly why. It's the old dudes. <laughs> Plus, imagine being that type of person that tried to complain about a person having a little squish. Like, uh, so what if they got a little bit of squish? That just makes hugging better. Hi, I'm a 25M, East Coast, US. Well, time for me to move to California. I'm generally a very outdoorsy person, especially now with the weather getting better. I also work long hours, but keeping up with the people in my life is uh, very important to me. Besides that, I'm an open book. Do you have a Discord so we can chat? Hi, uh, what part of the East Coast? And yeah, weather getting better is definitely nice for outdoor stuff. I do have Discord, but I'd rather talk here a little before I give that out. Okay, sure. I'm looking for a long-term relationship relationship. It can start online, but hopefully with the goal of uh, moving IRL. I'm currently single and uh, looking for a monogamy. Then why did you go to a friends-only subreddit asking this? Hi. Hi. Big badonkers are actually awesome, but have disadvantages too. I mean, yeah, I guess you're not wrong. There's pros and cons to everything in life, but uh, you might want to figure out this little lovely thing called a segue and how to use it. You know, you can't just come in changing the subject to that like the Kool-Aid man coming through a wall. I would never, but sometimes I definitely have the urge to ask for pics, cause sadly, being horny is my only way to cope with depression. XD. That is messed up. As an extremely depressed and traumatized individual, that doesn't justify wanting that contact with someone who have said no that's disgusting. You think you are the only traumatized person? Really nice, calling my only way to cope disgusting. It was just a warning. I think we talked enough. Bye. There are so many better ways to deal with depression than the horny. And it should be just common knowledge that trying to randomly talk to somebody about the horny coping mechanism is probably not the best course of action because, you know, it, there's like so many better ways. That That's not your only coping mechanism. You're just trying to give yourself an excuse. Depression sucks, I can guarantee you that. It really does, but that's not the best way nor the only way to deal with it. Hi, I viewed your profile, and I like what I've seen. I would like to have you as a friend. You're gonna send your feet pictures to me and get a thousand dollars weekly allowance in return. No strings attached. Dime a feet thank- Yeah, we know already, dum-dum. I love- Love to see feet pics. Are you interested? You can as well message me on Snapchat at this name. I think we can help each other. Uh, no. What is, what is it with the feet dudes being all creepy and stuff? It's like, what? You know, I think after reading this, the first thing that came into my mind was like, is this that guy gonna reverse image search whatever photos they get sent to verify that they're not just something from Google Images? Because if that's like a quick thousand dollars, I'll just grab something off of Google Images and send the send the dumb dumb if he's gonna pay up front. Because I would assume if he's stupid enough to post this kind of message thinking it's gonna work, then he's probably stupid enough to get scammed out of a thousand dollars. And like I said before, if you got a thing like that, then you know what? That's all you. I just like it, it's. 
not good to go up to random people and ask them to fulfill this kind of need or desire. It just, it don't sound right. Like, if you don't know the person, don't go up and ask them for a picture of their foot. But with that last creepy dum-dum, that's gonna have to be with the video. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. I don't know, just like comment Fortnite for some reason. I guess those buzzwords happen to get the algorithms going. I don't know why, YouTube is kind of weird and I just want to see if it actually works. But with that, I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.